Hey, good morning. It's Mike Chunky with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Shiftham Properties in Scottsdale. Uh, Friday morning market chat. Gather yeah, my thoughts here. We're at the top of the hill here. So, uh, what do we got? Uh, we're in the back of Ancala. It's been a crazy week. Uh, it's been a fun week. It's been crazy. But uh, let's see. We'll start residential uh, first. We've got 10,448 single family detached homes for sale in the multiple listing service. It's up about 300, We're starting to get some inventory back. 7,388 in Maricopa County and in Scottsdale, we have 939 single family detached homes for sale. Look at that one, that's pretty. Again, right in the back of Ancala. Uh, so Scottsdale up 13. Uh, interesting, every morning I do a hot sheet, see what's new on the market. Uh, four mile radius of the Ancala Country Club here, uh, 15 new listings. So that's pretty good. We're starting to see some inventory. You know, uh, sat in a Cromford report meeting earlier this week, uh, and supplies down a little bit. I'm not going to lie. You know, residential's a little tight. We've slower than last year. August did pick up a little bit from the previous month. So, uh, We've still got a bunch of buyers looking, but in general, you know, you have to follow the math and not the, high, the, not the headlines. Uh, in general, supplies down a little bit. In, in some conversations with other brokers, buyers are being taught by the media that interest rates are high, prices are high. Well, if you look at it, if you go back to the year 2000, 5% increases in housing, prices that's where we are now so you know prices are not out of control where they should be interest rates are high uh, generationally not historically but uh, yeah so it's residentials kind of come to a not a halt but it's slowing down I still get calls from buyers but uh, Nobody wants to sell. I mean, if you're in a 3% mortgage, what did I see? 67% are under 4% mortgages. Um, it's tough to get out of and jump into a 7%. Of course, Scottsdale, we have a lot of second homes and vacation homes and things like that. Uh, what else do we have? I've got my little notepad here, but I can't read them because I don't have my glasses. So what have we got? Um, yeah, just long-term real estate, you know. Our clients who are not sitting around waiting, waiting for prices to drop that aren't gonna drop, waiting for interest rates to drop that aren't gonna drop, our clients that purchased six months, a year, two years, a year and a half ago, they're ahead of the game. People that are waiting are behind the game. You know, your $2 million price, now you're down, you're looking, you know, a million and a half affordability. So you're getting less house for the same payment. Uh, interesting, this one coming up here. It's a new listing on the market. It was listed in May for 1.9, 1.97. Didn't sell. Of course, we never know the story, but it's back on the market. Uh, who's got it? The agency, Aunt Turco Group, I guess. Uh, four bedroom. 4,000 square, no, five bedroom, 4,000 square feet for two point, either 2.2 or 2.3. Not bad, except that it didn't sell in May for 1.9. Which, again, talking to other brokers, um, you know, listings are tough to get. We've, we've turned away a few listings again because we, it's not my job to stick a sign, spend five thousand dollars in marketing and have your house sit on the market we're here to sell your property for the highest price and with the most qualified buyer but there's a lot of agents that are taking these listings and starting to see some high prices again the houses that are priced right sell immediately one at the bottom here of on Ancala uh, Ancala's should be about 500 a square foot uh, that one's five almost 570 a square foot. So I think they're a little optimistic, but somebody will buy it um, eventually. Uh, one at the bottom. Oh, look at the fox or the coyote. Do you see him? You got her? 
We have to watch the uh, little ruby. It's a popular time for coyotes to run along the golf course. Uh, anyway, so we're grinding along. Uh, you know, we've been really busy with commercial. We've got had an interesting week. We got had a deal we're working on with some big personalities. And in any business these days, pick up the phone. We there was a big communicate miscommunication on a, on this deal. Uh, had some screaming together, screaming at each other. Uh, I got yelled at, which was awesome. You know, I my first job out of college was on the Chicago Board of Trade uh, in the bond pit. You take 250, 25 to 30 year olds, fill them with adrenaline, jump up and down, and you know, one of these guys, you've seen them on the thing. Uh, that was the best business training ever because you get some pretty thick skin. So. Not much bothers me. So we got everybody together, said, wait, let's back up here. You know, everybody wanted to walk away from the table. Got everybody together, got on the page, and we're kind of moving forward with that again now. Yesterday, looked at a super cool building. Uh, I'm excited to show you that one. We actually, I was up at 3.30 this morning writing our letter of intent up uh, for that one. Uh, uh, interesting, bank owned. Are we starting to see that in commercial again? Uh, industrial's busy. Office buildings are a little tough right now. So um, as interest rates rise, can investors afford to hold those properties if they're not getting uh, rent payments? I don't know. Nothing to be afraid of, but something to keep an eye on. You know, we're starting to see that again. Uh, builders, builders are rocking. They're offering some great financing rates. Uh, one thing to pay attention to is that person that sits in the trailer at the subdivision, the new build subdivision, does not work for you. Uh, you definitely want to bring your own buyer's broker on your first meeting. Um, otherwise, we can't help you. Uh, once you meet with them, it's real hard to get somebody else and get any kind of representation involved. And uh, most people don't think you need an inspection on a new home. You do. Uh, absolutely. Especially with some of the garbage we've seen lately. There's a lot of great builders out there. But there's a lot of garbage builders out there. So you need multiple inspections on a new build. Uh, so anyway, builders, uh, they're rocking because they can offer that lower rate. Uh, Let's see, mortgage rates, where are we at? Uh, 7.27 yesterday. Uh, funny, you've, if you've been watching these a while, you've seen that I've, I think they're going to 8% and up. Of course, nobody can, uh, nobody can predict rates. Um, there's just too much going on. In fact, we had good economic news this week, which meant that, uh, you know, bonds rates, the Fed is more likely to raise rates. Everybody's blaming this on the Fed. It's really the U.S. Treasury. They're issuing debt left and right. Nobody's talking about this end of the month uh, possible government shutdown. Uh, did you know that the interest uh, the U.S. government pays on debt every month is more than the military budget for the United States? It's a little scary. So as the government issues more debt and keeps spending, interest rates just keep going up. And we've come a, become a global, uh, our bond market is pretty global. You know, Europe raised interest rates yesterday or the day before. So you can't tell if rates are going up or down. I mean, you have an idea, but there's just a lot of moving pieces. Are we talking heading into a liquidity crunch? Crunch. I'm hearing a lot of investors and home buyers are having trouble getting financing. Um, somebody, shit, I don't recall who it was. There is a big auto lender. They're pulling out of the automotive business. There's just uh, credit is tightening up. So it's not always about the rate. It's what does it cost to get that rate? Commercial finance land or commercial, residential, land, whatever. So uh, it's interesting, but you know, there's always a solution. That's kind of where we, that's what I meant to talk about with that uh, 
explosion of a deal we had the other day is there's a solution to every to everything and that's kind of where that's why we pick and choose uh you know not who we work with but uh you know whether it's a three hundred thousand dollar house or five million dollar building or whatever it is it's we like to work with people we know we can help so uh give us a call and you know we're We'll be honest with you. If we can't help you, we'll, we'll point you in the right direction. But, uh, yeah, so we've got uh, today's a paperwork day. Hopefully get that other commercial one going, get some traction. That's got to go off to New York and get approvals. And so that's going to be, uh, it'll be fun. Uh, a lot of moving parts, a lot of leases in the building. And uh, it'll be fun. And you're going to be super excited when you see uh the finished product that's always fun so uh anyway you know how to find us you know where we are i hope that made sense i kind of like i said i made some notes but i of course don't run in my glasses so i couldn't uh couldn't read them but uh if you have a question if you're another agent and have a question how to figure a deal out give us a call if you're thinking about buying i don't know if i'd wait it's it's only going to cost you more and be harder to get your mortgage. Um, if you're thinking about selling, give us a call. We'll be upfront and honest with you. If, if we can't sell your house, we won't. We won't take the listing. Uh, a lot of agents now, because listings are so hard to come by, they'll they'll take anything. They'll cut their commission. You know, we uh, we work for our money, so. Anyway, blah, blah, rambling on. Have a great day. We're here to help. Let us know. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Maybe we'll get in. Uh, there was a house I want to get in later. So I don't know. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Be smart. Be safe. And uh, give us a call. Bye.